A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on 5 animals that had superhero abilities. In this video, I gathered some animals which have abilities you have seen super villains possess in the comics. Here they are, 5 super animals, the super villains edition. On number 5, we have Mr. Freeze. While working at a cryogenic lab, he gets into a fight and ends up in a condition where he can only survive at sub-zero temperatures. So he builds himself a suit to always keep him that way. Our animal counterpart is the wood frog. Found mostly in North America, it can survive freezing winters by simply freezing. If a human cell freezes, the ice crystals forming inside it can tear the cell, killing it permanently. And if a whole tissue is affected, it's called frostbite and has to be amputated. In these frogs, however, when the temperature approaches sub-zero, large amounts of liver glycogen is converted to glucose and urea starts accumulating in the cells which acts as cryoprotectants and limit the amount of ice that forms and reduce shrinkage caused in the cells due to osmosis. They later thaw out when the weather warms up and come back to life. They can undergo more than one freeze-thaw cycle in a winter. Number 4 is Electro. He is one of Spider-Man's enemies and can manipulate electricity. An electric eel also uses electricity for its advantage. Its name might be a misnomer but not its abilities. It is actually a knife fish that can generate up to more than 600 volts of electricity and a current of 1 ampere for 2 milliseconds. One tenth of this current can prove lethal to humans but if it passes for a longer duration through the heart. It's not lethal but definitely painful and the eel uses it for defense as well as hunting. Number 3 is Banshee, a supervillain turned hero who possesses the abilities to manipulate sound waves. One of his abilities is to stun his opponent using his sonic scream. Our pistol shrimp might not be able to scream that much but he definitely packs a punch. The shrimp can shut its claws so fast that it creates a cavitations bubble that can reach sound pressures of up to 11.6 psi. And this bubble travels at 60 miles per hour and produces a snap which can reach up to 200 decibels. To put that into perspective, the blue whale sounds are recorded at 188 decibels. This sound and pressure is enough to stun or even kill small fish close by which it then feeds upon. Along with being loud, when the bubble collapses it reaches temperatures of 4700 degrees Celsius. The temperature at the surface of the sun is 5500 degrees. So basically, if you're a small fish near the shrimp when it snaps, you'll be deafened by the sound, killed by the shock wave and cooked at the same time by boiling temperatures. Fishermen and sailors have reported to not being able to rest because of the loud noise in pistol shrimp infested waters. Number 2 is a not very popular Hydro Man who can transform his body parts into water and pass through the smallest crevice possible. So can our sea cucumber. It is a seabed dwelling creature which has a special kind of a collagen in its body walls. When required, its body tissue turns into a liquid like consistency and it can crawl into small gaps to the other side to safety and then turn firm again. Additionally, it can also shoot its internal organs from its behind to escape danger. They regenerate later. Finally, it won't be a supervillain episode without mentioning Magneto, a mutant who can control metals and somewhat electricity with magnetism. Well, our animal counterpart is a much more bumble being, uh, I mean humble being. The honeybee might seem like a fat lazy flyer, but it has some of the most astonishing abilities. First off, it can navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. But even cows can do so, what's the big deal? Bees are so sensitive to electricity that they can sense the electromagnetic waves in atmosphere preceding a thunderstorm. They call it a day and head back home. One study shows that bees can detect electric fields on a quantum level. Electrically charged particles can mess with their appetite and navigation. In fact, they carry their own negative charge. When they buzz near a flower, the positively charged pollen leap onto the bee clearing the way to the nectar. Bees also have a complex way of communicating through special body movements which the other bees understand. The scouts can explain to the others if they find a new flower field or a new prospect hive location. And they do this by giving the location with a relative angle to the position of the sun, keeping in mind that the sun will change its position by the time the bees reach there. What about strength? Ants are known for carrying 50 times their own body weight. Bees can carry 122 times their own body weight and that too while flying. And their fuel efficiency is astonishing. They can fly 40 miles on a belly full of honey in spite of their clumsy way of flying which burns a lot of energy. That's 5 million miles on a gallon. The most efficient car in the world can do about 300 miles per gallon. Another one of their super ability is to act like mini heaters. In cold winters, the bees can disengage their wings and turn on just the wing muscles to produce heat. It's like revving up a car engine in neutral gear. It also uses this technique to kill its predators like the hornet. 
A lone bee can't do much but a group of them encapsulates their enemy and shift into neutral gear that can raise the temperature up to 47 degrees Celsius accompanied by the carbon dioxide which they give off, they can fry and suffocate their enemy at the same time. And if the weather gets too hot in the hive, the workers line up and flap their wings to cool down the place for everyone. And we haven't even yet spoken about the miracle juice they produce. Honey has some extraordinary properties. It never goes bad, ever. Honey has been found in some ancient Egyptian pharaoh graves from thousands of years ago and it is still good. Due to its antibacterial properties, it has been used to treat wounds since before recorded history. And honey made from manuka bush in Australia is being tested in hospitals to treat cancer. Not just honey, almost everything that comes out of a bee is used to fight cancer. Bee venom, royal jelly and propolis, a substance made by bees to patch their hives. They have shown shrinkage in tumors when injected. This is the most amazing creature I found during my research. And I've provided links to all the individual sources in the description below in case you're interested to check them out. That's it for now guys. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. You can find all the links in the description below. Click on the thumbnails to view my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.